with these new subjects coming in, which of them are being prioritised in the tranches? Well, what's happening actually, Shari, is that we will have a lot of new subjects coming in and revised subjects in 2025. So for any students that's starting senior cycle in 2025, they will be able to, to access the subjects which are revised, which are the, bio, the sciences, biology, uh, physics and chemistry. Um, there's a revised business course coming in in 2025 as well. And also subjects like uh, the classical languages, Latin and Greek. Uh, and Arabic, those subjects were also revised. They were already on the curriculum uh, and they're part of that new group of subjects that are coming in in 2025. But we also have two new subjects uh, that our National Council for Curriculum Assessment have been working on as well. The first of those is Climate Action and Sustainable Development and the second is Drama, Film and Theatre Studies. So you can see there's a lot of subjects, there's nine in total uh, that we uh, will have in schools in 2025 and for students that will be going into fifth year in 2025 those are the subjects that would be most relevant to them and you probably know there's an awful lot of students that take many of those subjects uh, particularly the ones that are already on the curriculum like business and the sciences so really the, this will really mean a lot for those students starting at that particular point in time. How do I know if one of the subjects that's being introduced is being introduced in my school? Well that's particular to the two subjects the climate action sustainable development and the drama film and theatre studies uh, with, with subjects like those that are, are new, and they're exciting actually to be fair because we've never had those in the curriculum before, what happens in that instance is that normally you work with a smaller number of schools uh, and, and for many schools it's a choice as to whether or not they have the, the interest, because obviously it depends on whether students in the school are interested in doing them. So the school in effect would nominate itself to that process, we would set criteria in place uh, for those schools to come in at that particular point in time because they, they're new and they will have additional resources required in order to be able to implement them. And we've done that in the past actually with subjects like computer science and uh, physical education or PE that some of your students who are currently in school actually are uh, uh, taking up for their Leaving Cert. And that's the approach that we would adopt in those particular subjects. The others are different because they're already in the curriculum. The schools already have experience of them. They have the teachers that are teaching them. And also they're, they're at this stage a high demand subject because uh, they're in almost all schools, actually. Uh, so from that perspective, it's a slightly different approach with the newer subjects. And that we would take a more graduated approach, I think is the best way to describe it, when we introduce subjects like that into the senior cycle. Will teachers know what to teach in terms of new subjects coming in? I think I could best describe this as a three-phase process. So when we develop the specifications for new subjects, that's what we call them, the specifications, there are National Council for Curriculum Assessment, which is an expert-led body. So, so when you're working on a subject or revising a subject, you have subject experts that contribute to that. And then they develop the course, and they develop what we would call the, the outcomes for the course, what teachers, the areas that are covered in terms of the teaching and learning. Those are always, always fully available to teachers, they're online. Uh, and included in that actually then the next phase of that is we provide a continuing professional development program for teachers when a subject is new or it's revised and the department's teacher support service it's a newly uh, uh, amalgamated entity this September called IJA. IJA is the support service then that will provide that professional learning to teachers in order to support them once they implement it in the classroom uh, and then obviously um, we th those stages actually integrate with each other in many ways uh, and the, the resources to support teachers are available often on the curriculum online, which is, um, I suppose, a, a website which teachers can access to, to see what's involved, and then the professional um, resources that they, that they get through the wor their work with IJA or the Teacher Support Service. Who was previously correcting the coursework? Uh, well, projects that are, have been corrected have been corrected always by our State Examinations Commission. So um, as a recent Leaving Cert student yourself, you'll know that you quite often, depending on the subject, would receive a project brief. It sets out a kind of a pathway for you to produce something uh, and that, that, whatever it is, for example, in, in, if you did economics, it's obviously a brief that's done and then that's sent off to the State Examinations Commission where it's corrected by those expert um, teachers that they recruit to that process to do that. How long do we have to wait before all these subjects are rolled out in all schools? 
it's always good practice to phase things in gradually over time uh, and we expect obviously that we will introduce them in, you used the phrase tranches earlier yourself actually, so we expect to introduce them in tranches on priority areas and that the information in relation to the tranches will become apparent over time because there's obviously research in terms of, of how that's best approached given the number of subjects that we have in the curriculum. But the Minister is very committed to that initial tranche and it's a lot of subjects when you think about it, nine in 2025 uh, that they would be available. With the class of leaving certificate 2024 coming in and their leaving cert coming in quickly as well, will this affect them in any way? Well, I suppose that there's two things to think about. Uh, the first thing is um, the assessment arrangements for a junior cycle and leaving certificate in 2024 were published by the department in, I think it was September the 18th. Uh, so they're available on the gov.ie website for all students if they wish to access it. Those uh, supports were also sent to all schools uh, so teachers can see them as well. So you'll know that we've had assessment arrangements or adjustments in place for, for, a, la for a number of years uh, and those in place for 23 continue into 2024. So for the Leaving Cert students of 2024, those are current sixth years, those are who have started sixth year at the start of this term, those assessment arrangements are available for them. And they'll be, their teachers are familiar with them and the teachers will be able to talk to them about what that means for their subject and what the assessment adjustments are in their particular subject. Thanks so much, Orla. That was fantastic. I know our members will be put at ease after your, your answers. Thank you.